talking about the max width property and the width property and the differences between the both of them i already wrote a medium post explaining the difference between both of them so now we're just going to focus on a practical example showing showing us the difference so i have my max width folder here which is the example i'm going to use so let me just add the image that we're going to use as the example i've downloaded an image from monochrome lagos which would use to learn about max width um, properties so here we go style nothing so let's see what this does what do we have when we run this program that we have here sorry forget that so we have this image the natural um, size of the image as it was downloaded from monochrome Lagos um, so this is the image here and if you want to find out the natural width and size you can just hover here that's an easy way to find it another way to find it is by clicking on it here going to console and typing dollar zero and when you click on enter it comes out then you can hover it's a long way to do it hover hover and find it yeah yeah so this is it here so it's the long way to do it but it, it comes in handy sometimes so now this is the image we have it's it's not it's beautiful but it's not um, how we want it designed we don't want it to be this big we want it to be a width of um, 700 pixels so what do we do to get that we go back to our um, go here to our style file and we write width of 700 px and let's see what that does yeah. so it resizes it to um width of 700 pixels which is great but it let's let's even see the size now okay see 700 pixels width great but that's not really what we want because um actually it's what we want but let's see where we resize the file see this is why it's not what we want because it starts to scroll from left to right and nah uh, it's not cool we don't want any scrolling thing we want it to fit we want it to be responsive responsive enough to fit the size of the window that it's put in so that's when max width comes in max win max width is tells us that okay you can be anything less than this size but you must not exceed this size so let's let's try a max width of 400 px and see what that does width of 700 px and max width so it resizes it to 400 px so that no matter what like no matter the size of the of the of the window it remains like 400 px and let's try let's even try a bigger number like um, max width of 500 px or 600 px and let's see what that does in the browser so let's refresh so this is um 600 px 600 px because that's the max width that we put that never exceed this um size so when we size what does it do uh it's still too big for the screen and i wonder why i know the reason why the reason is because we have we have put the max width at 600 and i put the width at 700 which is saying that which is basically saying that um um if the width is 700 pixels and the max width is 600 pixels then because the max width is greater than the because the width is greater than the max width then take the size of the max width which is 600 px so that's what it's doing now but the best way to get um, responsive images is using percentages so this 100 percent let's see what 100 percent does 100 percent basically says if you set the width of the image to 100 percent says take the size of the parent container that means take the size of the div that 
contains the image that the, so so let's see what that does in practical terms this is what it does you see it takes the whole size of the window and no that's not what we want so how do we now modify this boy it's a great quality it looks great it's not squishing the image in any way well we want it to be restricted to a particular size and we also want it to be responsive let's check if this is responsive like so when we, when we see it's very responsive and beautiful see 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 yeah that's because it's 100 percent well it's still too big like why would we just want one big image it's beautiful but that's not the design we're going for so we're just going to reduce what what now what, what we can use to change this is by using max width let's set max width to 700 px so that this helps it to be both responsive and to both fit our de at, um, the width of our design so let's refresh and see what it does so you see it now stays where we want it to stay and when we resize it see 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 but it would never be, be bigger than 700 px because we already set the max width to, to 700 px so um yeah so we've used this beautiful image from monochrome lagos to learn about max width and width and setting with 100 percent and all those things it does for us for our design and our front end so when we're developing instead of scratching our heads and trying to figure it out this is what to do um and this is exactly what the properties do in css is it like not care about what the properties do as long as it works for us but we need to know these things so yeah thank you and see you next week